Hey guys, it's Jenny and George and Gracie. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> so, um, we are at Amanagar Park. It's a city park in the, in the town of Kirkwood, Missouri, and it's a beautiful park. It's right on the Merrimack River. Um, and as predicted last week, it did snow majorly <laughs> snowed here in St. Louis. And it was beautiful. Um, and now this Tuesday, a week later, it is beautiful sunshiny skies again um but the ground is still really wet and muddy and it's just uh, super gross so <laughs> we're gonna uh we're actually gonna do a standing kriya today and a, a standing warm-up while holding on to george and keeping an eye on gracie and so we'll, our, our Kriya today is Padam Kadam Dadam, which means doubt, action, and then non-action. Um, and I like to think of it as, well, so Padam reminds me of Prana, you know, because P words and two syllables and um, I don't know, adult ADHD. <laughs> Um, but you know prana is our our life energy it's our breath and then karam karma um you know that's the action we take and then dharam reminds me of dharma and that's our our path the path that we are on um and this kriya is so beautiful um it suggests that we do it for 11 minutes i don't know if it'll really last that long <laughs> <laughs> with the dogs but um we'll do what we can and it's all about breaking through our physical and energetic blocks uh to come into victory and when i do it's one of my favorite koreas and I, I do it quite a bit on walks especially after a rainy day um you know when i don't want to sit down because the whole Korea is done standing and it, it's like a dance. Um, so, um, and, and afterwards I always just feel very grounded, but, us, but at peace. Um, and it's truly, it feels like a moving meditation. So um, I'm gonna go set my phone up. And I think I'll go ahead and let Gracie off the leash. Um, she'll be okay. She'll be she'll be good here. We're um, on the river path that runs right along the Merrimack River, um, which is a really lovely river to kayak in. And I think that there are parts of it that you can swim in, but you wouldn't want to swim um, in this area. Um, it just has a really weird current and it's kind of polluted. Um, but this is a really lovely park. Uh, I highly suggest a visit. <laughs> um, it's like a little n n like nest of nature just in between a couple of highways in the middle of Kirkwood. Um, but it's really, there's just like a magical sweet energy here. So, um, all right. So again, we're gonna be doing the whole warm up standing up. Um, and then we'll move into our Kriya. Uh, okay, let's go. Come here, Gracie. I'm gonna take her leash off. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're such a good girl. Oh, I'm gonna take my, uh-oh. I'm kind of wrapped up in my scarf here. Yeah, but you want to play. Oh my gosh. Well, we might be doing yoga and playing fetch at the same time, which is always a really fun exercise. 
<laughs> oh, I love hiking. Like, I love doing yoga while I'm on hikes with these two. They're so fun. They just keep me so present to my practice. All right. Okay. So let's just take a few minutes just to center ourselves. Really getting present to where we are at right now in this moment. Feeling the noises, hearing the noises around us. that energy in our heart really noticing what is what is there I'm gonna put my foot on George's leash we're standing for a minute so I feel like maybe that would be the best way to kind of handle that I'm bringing my hands into Gian Mudra, thumb and index finger touching. And again, just taking this moment to really get present. Getting present to the energy in my body. Noticing my thoughts, noticing if I'm holding any tension anywhere. Beginning to focus my eyes up at this third eye. Deepening my breath, inhaling through the nose, all the way into this navel center. Allowing that inhale to fill me from the bottom up. And exhale. Continue practicing that long, deep breathing. And bringing hands into prayer mudra, right at the heart center. Again, tuning into that heart energy. Let's open our practice by chanting Om. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale to chant. arms up over our heads. Imagine you're filling that space between your arms with a radiating beautiful light and as you exhale release your hands, draw that light around you. And we're going to start just with some nice gentle shoulder rolls. Inhaling the shoulders up, exhale roll them back. Um, George is getting a little anxious, so I'm just going to pick his leash up and kind of give him a little more room this now. 
for the call out for Gracie. Oh, there she is. What a good girl. What a sweet girl. Yes, you are. You are the best. Where's your stick? Where's the stick? Oh, here's a good stick. Oh, maybe not a good stick. Uh-oh. Oh, go find a better stick. Go find a stick that doesn't have so much stuff on it. <laughs> oh, is that so nice? We're just inhaling those shoulders up. Exhale, rolling them down the spine. And I like to imagine as I'm doing these shoulder rolls that I'm like pushing those, that tension down the spine, down my spine, along with my shoulders. And I'm just like letting it melt into the ground, into the snow, letting it melt into the mud. Imagine getting y'all churned up with the mud and growing into some beautiful flowers in the spring. <laughs> All right, one more time. Let's inhale up. Oh, exhale, release. All right. Ooh, it's getting a little warm. Loosen up this scarf. Actually, I might even take it off. I feel pretty, pretty okay with that. Um. Okay, and then let's start in with some just nice gentle neck rolls. Inhaling the left ear over to the left shoulder. Exhale, rolling that chin down to the chest. Bringing that right ear over the right shoulder. <laughs> Jesus, hi, hi. Oh, you guys are just the best puppies in the whole wide world. Come here, I'll throw it. Oh my gosh, here we go. Let's go. Woo! Go get it. Good girl. All right, one more time in this direction and then very gently inhaling over that right shoulder and then exhaling chin to the chest and bringing that left ear over the left shoulder. And we're gonna do just a couple more warm ups, getting ready for bottom, bottom, bottom. One more time. And we're going to do some standing cat cows. So I'm placing my hand very, very gently right on my, uh, just above my knee. And just barely bending my, um, bending my legs. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing with the, how the sun is behind me. <laughs> but you know, we, we, we do what we can in situations like this. Right? In the right? Yeah. Okay. And just like um, a traditional cat-cow, we're going to inhale that tailbone up towards the sky, dropping the belly, rolling the shoulders away from the chest. We're gonna lift the chin, faces forward. And then exhale, rounding the tailbone towards the spine, arching the back, bringing chin to chest into cat. Inhale. And exhale. And continue that movement. I'm gonna throw this stick for Gracie. There you go, good girl. She's so patient with me. Like, obviously I'm here just to play fetch with her. And um, you know, she's so patient while I do all this other stuff that is not playing fetch. <laughs> yeah, ain't that right? Oh my God. There we go, good girl. Remember, we're leading this movement with the tailbone so we can hit every single part of that spine. Inhaling the tailbone up, arching the back. All right, one more time. Inhaling that tailbone all the way up, dropping the back, chin is up. Exhale, squeezing all that old air out into cat. And then inhale, come to a neutral spine. And slowly rolling ourselves up. We can do it a few more shoulder rolls. Oh my gosh. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. <laughs> okay. We're going to do just a couple more. We're going to do some windmill. Get some, uh, kind of stretch out these legs a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and step on George's leash for this since my feet will be stagnant. And, ooh, oh, it's a little slippery. So I'm coming into a, a star. Um, 
feet are more than hip width apart. Arms are parallel to the ground. Roll those shoulders back away from the ears. This is our inhale. And then exhale, I'm going to keep my arms in this straight line. I'm gonna bring this right hand over to my left toe. And then inhaling up to center. And then exhaling that left hand over to the right toe. And continuing that movement, inhaling up. Exhale down. This is a really great time when you're down to grab that stick and throw it for your dog that loves to play fetch. Oh, and she's back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drop it now. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> All right, and so on the next time down to that left, let's go ahead and hold it there. Just get a nice stretch behind the leg. You're really reaching up through the fingertips on that right arm. Inhaling up and the same thing on that right side. Exhaling down, holding, getting a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Hi, George. And inhaling up. Okay, so that was a nice short warm up. Um, and let's start into potum, cotum, dotum. So, again, I'm gonna step on George's leash. There is a little, quite a bit of footwork. So we'll maneuver around that. Um, and I'll go ahead and talk you guys through uh, you know, the first few times and then um, and then we'll just zone out and practice together okay so oh gosh trying to push this leash okay so we're starting here in prayer mudra hands uh, in mountain pose hands are in prayer mudra connecting I'm gonna step back just a little bit. Okay. Hands are in prayer mudra. We're connecting to the earth. Inhale, we're gonna step back with that right foot. Oh, there's a log. Coming into this warrior. Reaching up through those top of the hands. Inhale. Exhale, rounding those arms back, coming into Dancing Shiva, balance. And then stepping back into Archer. So we're really pulling that bow back. We're reaching out through that elbow, focusing on this front thumb. And then surrender, cup of prayer. And then we do the same thing on the opposite side. So again, we're moving from mountain pose, um, bringing all this heart energy up as we step back into warrior, and then we come forward with that back leg into dancing Shiva, and then we bring that back le that front leg back again into archer. Okay, and then we're focusing on a on that thumb, that front thumb. And then we surrender into cup of prayer. So we're bringing our doubt to action and then surrendering through that inaction. Okay, surrendering to the universe. I'm just stepping on George's leash. Prayer mudra. Stepping back into warrior with that left foot, bringing all this heart energy up to the sky, up into that higher consciousness. Inhale, exhale, release our hands, stepping forward into dancing Shiva, finding our grace, our balance. Stepping back into archer, 
Okay, pulling that bow back, focusing on that front thumb. Focusing on our strength. And inhale, cup of prayer. So again, it's just like a beautiful flow, like a dance. Um, we're gonna do just a few more. George is ready to hit his hike, so let's just try for a few more and then we'll close our practice, okay? Come here, George. Come here. Oh, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You're such a good boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try this. See how, see how much George will let us do. <laughs> Mountain pose, prayer mudra. Inhale. Whoops, I'm gonna get my left foot on his leash because I'm gonna be stepping back with that right foot. Inhale, stepping back into warrior with that right foot. Exhale, release. Coming into dancing Shiva. Stepping back into archer, pulling that bow back. Play that left. Knee is just over the left ankle. Stepping forward, cup of prayer. And now I'm going to switch feet. So I'm stepping on his leash with my right foot because I'm going to be stepping back with my left. Prayer mudra. Warrior. Exhale, release. Coming forward into dancing Shiva. Stepping back into Archer. Exhale. Surrender. Cup of prayer. Inhale. Prayer mudra. Connecting. Stepping. And I'm switching my feet with that leash, okay? So now I'm holding the leash with my left foot as I step back into a warrior with my right foot. Stepping forward into Dancing Shiva. Stepping back into war into Archer. Excuse me. Make sure those shoulders are rolled back away from your ears. Stepping forward, cup of prayer. Again. Oops. Now I'm holding his leash down with my right foot. Prayer mudra. Stepping back into warrior. Coming forward. Sorry, Gracie. <laughs> I didn't realize she was right there. Coming forward into dancing Shiva. Stepping back into archer. Cup of prayer. And switching feet. So I'm holding on to his leash with my left foot as I step back with my right. Let's try this one. Um, just going with the flow, okay? And I'm, I'm going to do them with you. Remember, you want to alternate your feet as you're switching which one um, is holding onto the leash. Um, and uh, if you get lost, you know, feel like maybe you missed a step, you can always just watch the screen and, um, and I'll be doing it along with you, okay? Just for a few more times and then we'll close our practice and continue on our hike.
I like to as I'm practicing this Korea outside. I love looking up to the trees. Imagining all my intentions floating up. <laughs> oh my god, we're almost done, I promise. So maybe let's try for one more. And Georgie Pop is wanting to get on his hike. So let's try for one more on each side. So that might be, um, I'm going to take that as a sign. <laughs> Maybe it's time to close our, our practice. Um, but it was really nice hiking and practicing yoga and walking dogs with you. <laughs> and um, <sighs> sipping our hands into prayer mudra. We're going to close our practice with three satnans. I am truth. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale to chant. Satnam. Sat Nam Sat Nam Peace to all, light to all, love to all, Sat Nam. <laughs>